I'm with Alison Chambers, Director of Emerald Media. Alison, you are launching a very exciting new product on Thursday. Tell us about it. Well, thank you, Liz. Um, yes, I'm launching together with Tim Harlow at Blue Sky, um, a publication called Resilient Aviation. It's a sort of a communications aviation newsletter. And it's actually looking about how our industry is rallying in this really difficult, scary time. Um, so we're looking at a, a number of stories from the likes of Canada, Africa. We're including business aviation, helicopters, regional aviation, which is where I actually started in this industry many, many moons ago. Um, and I hope it's going to be well received. Um, I'd particularly like to give a, a shout out to these amazing freelance writers who have all come together, generously giving their time. Um, so I'm very, very thankful. I think everybody is at home. Everybody's not preparing for shows and doing the things that they would normally do. Um, a lot of journalists right now would be doing pre-writes for shows. Um, so the idea is to actually look at what they're doing as well, how they're going to get through this, um, in addition to companies and uh, associations it sounds really brilliant and just what we need at this time i love the title resilient aviation um you've also got an interview with a publisher haven't you who puts on events yeah um in the first issue we decided to uh, interview mark brown uh, mark brown is a publisher of a number of specialist titles and also he does events so he is telling us and interesting what he was telling us is that um Content is king. But uh, e-letters have been focusing on data, um, and actually, everybody has time on their hands, and you know, people are actually looking and getting stories, and they want to know what's happening. So, you know, he's telling me that the the content is going through the roof. There's a lot of traffic on the website. So, I mean, I'm in in public relations. You know, you do great videos, and well done to you, Liz, for also for being resilient and creative in your work. But you know, my message to people is to keep communicating keep sharing your news particularly if you are being resilient and um i hope that everybody will do that because you know we all need to keep together and we're all in the, the same boat but yeah mark is uh, is is a good highlight and we're going to be hearing from the uh, aviation associations as well I, I did an interview yesterday with mark bailey at uh, bbga and, and the sort of challenges they're facing because you know, work still goes on. There's still Brexit to consider, for example. He's still got questions for his members for the CAA, the DFT. You know, they, they want to know how they can proceed. So that's quite important. Very much so. And I think the associations are having another vehicle where they can communicate with, uh, with members and non-members to give a yeah. snapshot of what's happening at the highest levels it is vital too. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a wonderful idea. Can you, how often are you going to um, release it? Well, the, the plan is to have a one issue of Blue Sky, one issue of Resilient Aviation. Um, to be honest, I hope it hasn't, doesn't go on that long. Uh, the longer we're in this situation with this lockdown, the more I'm going to have to put these together. Um, but I'm really grateful for Tim for, for giving me this opportunity. I'm going back to my roots because I was a, a journalist before I did PR. Um, but you know, I hope, I hope it won't be too long. But um, the idea is to do every other week. So one week Blue Sky, one week resilient aviation. Um, Tim has got advertisers, so there's no new advertisers coming on board with this. As I say, it's just pure voluntary. Everybody who's giving their time, and there's some great media who are working with us. Um, but I'd like to think, Liz, at the end of it, we could do a really, really strong issue to say, right, we're back. Um, and maybe we could get some new content in terms of advertising or sponsorship that, you know, we can say to the journalist, thank you very much. You've been great. You've contributed. And we can make a donation to charities as well. So I think in, in the in issues we put together, we will, you know, talk about that. But, you know, we know it's early days yet. And uh, yeah. Well, I'm very much looking forward to it because not a lot of people know this about you, but you were the first female journalist to get a cover on Flight International back in the day. Alison really has got great yeah. journalist yeah. and editorial props there. 
Yeah, thank you, Liz. Okay. Yeah, Captain Lynn Rifflemeyer. Um, it was 1984, so I'm really showing my age then. But I did join flight at you know very young age, of course. <laughs> of course. And um, tell us a little bit about how you personally, um, you and your family, are dealing with this very ch uh, interesting time that we're going through. Yeah, well, I have quite a, a big extended family, so I'm missing them. I have my husband and my uh, my son, Alex, home. But um, I had a birthday recently. Uh, it wasn't a big birthday, but we all got together and uh, got on Zoom. We started doing family quizzes, and, you know, sometimes we put silly hats on. Um, with my team, I have a small team at Emerald Media. We're trying to get together once a week and have a chat on Zoom. Um, I'm finding I'm doing more cooking. Um, I'm doing more exercise. I'm even doing that PE with Joe, which is uh, quite funny. <laughs> um, but that's sort of become a little bit of a, a habit. Um, but we were talking earlier about the silly little things, you know, the hair, the nails. I mean, all that's gone out of the window now. And um, I think when we come out of this, we're going to have a big reboot in the industry. And it just won't seem so important anymore. I mean, we still like to look nice, but, you know, I, th I think we're into a really different time ahead don't you yes and and i hope as we were sharing earlier i hope that we can retain some of the community spirit that's um emerging during this time and once again alison congratulations really looking forward to seeing Thank it tomorrow you. and um yeah check in what is there a website how how we how will we see it well it's going to be out on a um the blue sky platform so mm -hmm. tim will send it out as he usually does with blue sky and he usually um pushes his issues out in the sort of early hours of thursday and we have a twitter as well which is at regional av capital r capital av a so do follow us and um yeah love to hear your news and well done you too liz thank you we'll circle back and talk to you again another time okay. thanks alison so much bye bye